Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to enable 1.20 features on a snapshot server. Since there isn't a specific feature on servers as of yet to enable 1.20 features, we'll be showing you another way. You'll firstly have to open up your Minecraft launcher and then select the snapshot version you want to enable 1.20 features on. I'll be using the latest snapshot as of the time I'm making this video and then starting my game. When the game is open, you'll have to head into single player and create a new world. When creating a new world, you can adjust the settings as you'd like, but what we focus on now is the experiments tab at the bottom. Click that and then enable 1.20 features by pressing the off button. Once you've adjusted the world, press create new world and wait for it to fully generate. After it's generated and you've had a look around, you can close your game. Now all we have to do is make sure this world with 1.20 features is uploaded onto your server. To proceed, you'll have to head over to the server.pro website, then head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that the server type is set to vanilla snapshot and the same snapshot version of your world. Also make sure that the server is offline. Since mine is the correct version, I'll then go into the files tab. There you'll see a folder called world. That's your server's current world, but it has no 1.20 features enabled, so what we're going to do is click it and delete it. Once you've done that, we can now drag a single player save onto here. To get that save, you have to press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That'll open up this small window. Make sure to type in percentage, app data percentage, and then press enter. When this window pops up, simply open up the .minecraft folder and then the saves folder. You should then see the world you created earlier with the features enabled. Simply drag that save onto the file section and wait for everything to upload. When that's done, right click to rename the folder. Make sure that you name the world folder something short and simple with no spaces or special characters. Then copy that name before pressing rename. The last step is to scroll down and find the server.properties file. Then you want to find the line saying level name. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the name of the world save renamed earlier and that's it. This means that the server will now recognize that the world save you uploaded is the one you want to show up on your server. Before proceeding, ensure save file is pressed for the changes to take effect, then turn your server on. After it's booted up, head to the dashboard and copy the host name. When launching Minecraft, make sure that the snapshot version is the one selected and you're good to go. Once your game is launched, head into the multiplayer section and into the server address section. Paste the host name and then join your server. When you're in, 1.20 features should be successfully enabled. If they're not, make sure to go back and refollow the steps of this tutorial. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.